what's good you too all right so i might be a little late to the party um i just peeped it on twitter um chandler wood uh he posted that the xbox series x and the pc hogwarts legacy players will be expecting a patch today to fix bugs and performance which is huge um warner brother games also tweeted the same thing out ps5 players due to some unforeseen issues we're targeting later this week to get uh get your patch to you thanks for your patience um so yep so i immediately loaded up the game started running through hogwarts testing this stuttery staircase area place where a lot of people have issues same thing with the foggy area the foggy courtyard um, another place people have a lot of issues in and also i ran outside um, to view hogwarts and the open world around it also, um, if you stick around towards the end of the video, you'll see how I use Razor Cortex to decrease my RAM usage because that's a huge thing in this game that didn't seem to be fixed within the latest patch, which is quite unfortunate. I'm going to let the rest of this clip play out and come back to you when I end up changing my settings to something I prefer uh, that gives me a little bit more stabilization. All right, here I'm switching all of my settings off of Ultra, which were some of the clips you were watching previously. I decided to want to try test to see how far i can push my pc with this newest update i thought why not it's a new patch hopefully they fix a lot of things which i had some pretty good luck with it wasn't too bad um it was still a little choppy here and there i also record and game on one pc so maybe that's some of my issues as well i actually know that's a lot of my issues i can't stream this game but um here i switched to some of my settings that i believe are a lot better for when i record Alright, so here we uh, we changed our settings to something that I know my game ran pretty well with before the update. Um, I still jit below a little bit before, a little under 50 right here. Um, not too bad. It's only for a split second. It doesn't happen very often. Here we're running through the halls and we're going to enter the foggy area. Um, not too crazy. Still stays above 75. I also noticed that um, I'm sticking closer to the 75s majority of the time especially running through these halls um, when we get out to the big courtyard area you'll notice i also stay pretty consistent as well now we're going to do a quick backtrack just to see how it looks on the way back also we're just going to be sprinting as fast as we can back to the uh, starting area this is the way i like to test it um, and then we're gonna do something a little different this time around also. I'll get back to y'all when we get there. So here you can see that I'm checking up on seeing if we actually really uh, have any less RAM usage. Not really, it doesn't look that a patch actually fixed any of the RAM issues. Um, I'm not sure what the stabilization was, uh, what they fixed to help with the stabilization or if it helped at all or if this is all placebo, but um, here, I'll be doing a quick test with the Razor Cortex again, how I did in my first video, um, and see how it looks on the way through the halls. Here you can see the Razor Cortex released a ton of the memory usage. This is huge, especially for anyone who's using 16 gigabytes of RAM, like I was previously. And now we're gonna give it a test and see how it feels in game. Here you can see I'm hitting closer to the hundreds and FPS. 90s to 100s sticking around that area here we dip we hit 50 pretty hard pretty quickly but we just let the game catch up for a second maybe it was because i was all tabbed out i'm not really too sure but here we're still sticking around the hundreds going back into this foggy area this is with my recommended settings the settings i feel like um the game plays best on and we're just gonna keep running through hogwarts now we're backtracking and you'll notice that I kind of face through this wall. That's never really happened to me before. That was a first. That's why I look kind of surprised by it. But um, hopefully that doesn't, that's not part of the patch, maybe causing more bugs. Not too big of one. And here you can see that we're sticking actually closer to the 90s, which is great. All right, and if you enjoyed this video as we went over the today uh, Twitter post with the whole patches and tested to see how the game runs, please leave a like on it and subscribe and let me know in the comments. Um, and also, if you haven't already, please check out my um, my series, my playthrough that I'm doing for Hogwarts right or Hogwarts Legacy right now. All right, everyone have a good day. Peace out.